Hey, it's Alan Simpson. Welcome. In this little series of tutorials, I'm going to talk about a free code editor named VS Code. Now, I know a lot of people who are learning to code for the very first time. That's so challenging in and of itself. The thought of trying to learn something else at the same time is like a nightmare. But actually, once you get to the point where you're, all right, you're kind of got the idea of typing in HTML tags or some kind of code, it is actually worth it to step aside and spend maybe half an hour learning a good editor because it will really help your learning curve. And in this first lesson, I'm going to explain what the advantages are and why it's good to use a good editor, even if you're first learning how to code. A real common problem for beginning code writers is that you're trying to follow along and your teacher's code is all nice and neat and everything. And yours looks like a big mess. So you can't even tell what's going on in there anymore. A big advantage to a free code editor like VS Code is it'll automatically straighten up that mess for you. In fact, I can just copy this right out of here, stick it into VS Code, and then I'll right click and choose Format Document, and it whips the whole page right into shape in an instant. So all the tags are nice and neat again, and it's easy again to see what's going on. You'll also notice it's in different colors. HTML tags are blue, HTML attributes are a light blue, HTML attribute values are brown. Uh, regular text that people can see in the browser is white. As you'll see shortly, that color coding can make it a lot easier to find errors in your code, which for beginners is a biggie because beginners spend a lot of time looking for errors in their code. Another thing for beginners is remembering stuff. One of the nice things about VS Code, if you look at a tag like if I see image there, IMG, if I touch the mouse pointer to it, it shows me a little reminder of what that's for. Oh, it's for showing an image. I touch it to a P, oh, it's for showing a paragraph. I touch it to an A, oh, then that represents a hyperlink. So you get instant reminders just by touching the mouse pointers to things in your code. Now that link points to a, a URL there. If I touch the mouse pointer, it says control click to follow. So if I hold down the control key and click it, it actually opens that page so I can see right where that link goes. Now, when you're working with a website, all your files are usually in one folder. One nice thing about VS Code is you can open the whole folder and see all the files that are in your site at once. If you forget what's in a file, just click it. It'll show you the contents of that file right over to the right there. And if that file contains code, you'll see the code, all color coded and everything, and you can do your coding right here. It also helps you type your code. For example, if I come down and make a new line and I type an opening P tag, it automatically puts in the closing P tag for me so I don't forget. And also, as I'm typing code, for example, I might start an A tag here. As soon as I type A, it lists all the tags that start with A so I can just click the one I want. And then I'll do a space and I know the next thing is H something or other. I type H and there it is, href, that's what I want. I click href, it puts in the href and the equal and both quotation marks so I don't mistype it, don't forget any part. Then I just type in where I want the link to take people or I don't even have to type it and I could actually just run out to the website and go to that page, copy the URL right out of the address bar and paste it in there, which means I'm a lot less likely to type it wrong. It also puts in the closing A tag for me so I don't forget that. And now I can also do a view and browser type thing from right inside the editor here. And I size these windows so I can see them both. All right. Then I'll come in here and make a change to my code. Um, I'll just throw something different here in the H1, blah, 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 blah. Refresh over here, and I see the effect of the change right away. Undo with Control Z until it's back where it was. Refresh, and I see the effect of the change right away. I didn't even have to save my work because I have autosave turned on, and I'll talk about that in one of the tutorial videos. Another problem for beginning coders is finding errors. Spend a lot of time looking for errors, and there's things you can do in VS Code to simplify that quite a bit. Once you get used to the color coding, you start to notice when colors don't look right. That regular text should be white. What's with all this brown text? Something must be wrong. If I look in the browser, 
I have an image tag in here, but I'm not seeing a picture in my page. I'm seeing this broken image thing, so there must be something wrong in my code. If I look near the image tag, I notice that there's a little green squiggly line under image and then another one at the end. That's kind of a visual cue that it thinks there's a problem somewhere inside that tag. And also, if I look at the bigger picture, there's a 2 next to index.htm. And if I touch the mouse pointer to that 2, it tells me there's two problems in that file. There's also a 2 next to a warning symbol down here in the status bar. And if I click that 2, it opens up this pane down here, and I see a couple of error messages. Now, at this point, a lot of beginners think, well, why doesn't it just fix the error for me? Why does it make me go through all this? And the answer to that question is because it can't read your mind, okay? It doesn't know what you intended to do. It just knows that it can't interpret the code because you didn't follow the rules of syntax while typing the code. It's up to you to tell it what you meant by correcting that syntax. It also doesn't tell you exactly what's wrong. It says, special characters must be escaped. The heck does that mean? Well, it's computer speak for meaning I, I can't read this code. You might think of it as meaning I think there's a typographical error in here somewhere. And that 10 comma 5 is line 10, the fifth character, and the 10 comma 40 is line 10, the 40th character. So it thinks there's something wrong in between number 5 and 40 on line 10. That's as close as it can get to telling you what's wrong. That's the best it can do because it's just a dumb machine that doesn't have eyes to see with or brain to think with. All it can do is tell you that it stopped being able to execute your code somewhere in line 10. Okay, so if we look at line 10, it is indeed that image tag with the green squiggles, so everything's pointing to the problem being somewhere in there. Okay, so let me just focus on this tag. Image source equal welcome.png, aha. I need a quotation mark after PNG. As soon as I type in that quotation mark, all the color coding looks right, and also it says no problems have been detected. So that tells me that was my error, so that's fixed. Okay, so even though it couldn't just fix the error for me, it certainly did tell me where to look, which helped me get it corrected a little quicker. So even if you're feeling a little overwhelmed just learning about coding for the first time, it's still worth it to spend a few minutes learning VS Code because in the long run, it'll really simplify and speed up your learning curve. All right, so come on over to the next lesson. I'll show you how to install it. It's completely free. It won't cost you a penny. And it works pretty much the same in Mac or Windows. All right, hope to see you there.